Okay, hello everyone. So today I will be tackling how to solve projectile motion problems. So we discussed that in order to solve these kinds of problems, there are two steps to it. The first is always to find the time of flight. This is much better done in the y direction. Okay? And the equation that you're going to use comes from the basic kinematic equation. Displacement is equal to VIT plus 1 half AT squared. However, rearranging it would give you this form. T is equal to square root of 2 delta y over A, where A is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay? And then after you get the time, you will then solve for whatever you're being asked for in the x direction. Usually, there are only two possibilities here. You have time, so you're either given or going to solve for x or vi. Okay? So, two easy steps. Let's try to solve a few problems related to it. Okay, first problem. Your friend throws a dart at a distance of 4.5 meters from the dartboard. The dart lands 1 meter below his hand. At what velocity did your friend throw the dart? Okay, so let us draw a sketch in order to visualize this problem. So, you have here your dart. Okay. And it is going at some initial velocity, which you don't know. That's what you're trying to solve. At what velocity did your friend throw the dart? What velocity? Okay. And then you know that it will projectile in its flight. And the dart lands one meter below the hand. So it was launched here. It landed here. And the distance is one meter below the hand. So this is your delta y. And because you're going down, this is negative. Okay? And he threw the dart a distance of 4.5 meters from the dartboard. So this is the dartboard. He was some distance from the dartboard. This is your x direction, and therefore the distance is 4.5 meters. Okay? And what velocity did your friend throw the dart? So this is your given and required and sketch all together into one thing okay now in terms of equation for time actually we'll only use one equation rather it's again displacement is equal to vit plus one half at squared however for time it's simply two delta y over a square root and <coughs> excuse me for um, what we're looking for, which is vi, we'll simply get that from delta x is equal to vit, and rearranging it will give us vi is equal to um, delta x all over t. Okay, so these two equations would then lead us to the problem, the solution to the problem. So let's solve. Okay, let's do the first bit, time. So in order to get time, it's simply t is equal to square root of 2 delta y over a. Now, what do we have? 2 delta y is negative 1 meter. And at the bottom is a. Okay, a, as you know, is gravity. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, so let's run the calculations. So... Sorry. So that's 2 times negative 1 all over negative 9.8 gives me 0 0.45 seconds. Okay. So the time is 0 0.45 seconds. Now, in order to get what we're looking for, VI, let's use the second equation. VI is equal to delta x over t, delta x, 4.5 meters, t, we just solve 0.45 seconds. So, 4.5 meters, 0.45 seconds. Okay, and what will that give me? Take note, keep this in your calculator. Why? I want you to use the most exact value as possible. You only use the sig figs at the end, 
But in order to get your final answer, always use the most exact value possible. So we will divide 4.5 by the answer we just got to get the value of 9.96. Okay? So it's around 9.961 uh, meters per second. And if we round it up, so the final answer would be two sig figs. So 10 point meters per second. Okay? So that's how we solve for this problem.